Hi guys, welcome back. It is Kaylee Simone here. So good to have you here. I want to really help you guys today with something that a lot of people kind of struggle with and that is knowing their body shape. So I want to take you through the very basics of this today because literally I could turn this into like a whole day workshop just talking about your shape and how to dress for it and how to identify clothing that makes you just feel amazing with your body shape and the goals that you want to achieve with your body. So I'm going to take you through the basics today and I'm going to zing through the five different types of uh, body shapes and um, so that you can identify which one you are, which is going to help you make smarter choices with your clothes. It's going to help you pick clothes that make you feel so attractive, so beautiful, so confident, like so sexy as well. Um, and it's really going to complement exactly what you have because you don't need to change your body. Um, you can do amazing things with the way that your body looks and the shape of your body from what you wear. Okay, so I'm going to take you through that today. So I'm just gonna list through these and you, as I'm going through these, I mean, as I'm editing, I'll probably put an overlay so you guys have a visual of this um, and then you guys can identify which one you are. So I'm gonna start with the first one and these are in no particular order, by the way. I just always seem to start here. Um, and this is the triangle um, and the triangle. So this, also known as the pear. So what this shape is, is where you are bottom heavy, basically. So if you look at your body, okay, and it's really great to do this in the mirror naked because you get full, like a true representation of your body. And you just look in your mo bo look, in, look at your body in the mirror and you just scan it, you just look up and down and you can see what the shape is, okay? You can see where the where you have the most weight or you can see where you have the most width or the most height, all of those things. So if you are a triangle or a pair, it will mean that you are um, smaller at the top and you are wider at the bottom. So you have wider hips, you have a wider butt, um, even wider on the thighs, um, and then you're smaller at the top. What I have come to learn and what I know very, very well is that it's not just those areas. So for myself, for example, I, when you look at me, I am a triangle, I am really this pair but this is not by the traditional measurements. So what actually happens is I measure my bust line, I measure um, my waist and I measure my hips, but actually my hips aren't the widest point. It's actually my thighs that are the widest point. So even though we don't traditionally measure those to get a body shape, actually when you look at me visually because my thighs are big, that makes me look like the triangle, that makes me look like the pair. Okay, because that's where the widest point is, so triangle. Um, and then we have the upside down triangle, upside down triangle like this, okay, so it's this way. And you guys have just guessed this from me talking about the triangle, this is the opposite of that. So this is where you are more top heavy. So you're gonna be wider either across the chest or across the shoulders, and you're gonna be narrower in the, in the hips, okay? So, this is gonna be like your widest point and you're gonna go in like this, okay? So that's upside down triangle. Then we have the circle. And the circle is just round. This is also known as the apple. And this is where your widest point is usually your midsection. So your waist area, kind of pushing down towards the hips. Um, but what will happen is the top half of you, so your bust line and up here, your shape is going to really go like this. So it's like more round and then you've probably got like uh, smaller legs or you'll just notice that your shape in general is like this. So you have uh, a wider waist basically. And then the fourth one is the rectangle. Some people just call it a square, but it's actually a rectangle, it's long. Um, so this is where you are just straight down like this. So all of your proportions, all of your widths, all of these horizontal lines here are basically the same. So from your shoulders, from your bust, your waist, your hips, everything else is just really kind of like straight down like this. 
and in this category this is why uh we have a lot of models that have this body shape guys because it's easy to uh, dress them it doesn't uh the alterations in what they wear the designers aren't having to accommodate for people with really big curves uh and which then changes the tailoring and changes the way the fabric falls uh, which is why you see a lot of models that you would class as like really slim and straight down and you know all of those words that you used to describe them because this body shape is it's really quite versatile in the sense that it doesn't need a lot or it can you can throw things on it and move things around how you want very easily because the body is just this straight down thing okay um and then the fifth one which is the one that uh, most people kind of aspire to have and this is the hourglass so this one is where obviously you're wider at the bust um, and then you have go in at the waist and then you go back out at the hips. So if you do those measurements on yourself and you'll have, you have um, a wider bust, you're wider up here um, and then you go in at the waist so that measurement will be smaller and then it goes right back out kind of like in proportion to the bust area. It doesn't have to be exactly the same but that's the hourglass. You get that shape. And that's the one that most people aspire to have just because it's what society depicts as the most feminine or the most sexy or the most beautiful. Um, and what you can do just through the clothing choices, once you know what body shape you are, you can then identify the clothes that help you visually uh, present your body to whatever shape that you actually want. So let's say you are a um, upside down triangle, okay? So you're like this, top heavy basically, wider up here, smaller down at the bottom. Um, and you want to look like you've got that hourglass, right? just give you an example so you already have the width up here okay um, and then you're already gonna go in at the waist perfect so the area of attention for you the area of focus is to widen out the hips so you want to look for items of clothing that visually create horizontal lines that draw attention and widen this part out so then just visually looking at you your body is now representing hourglass shape Okay, um, let me t tell you quickly another example. Myself, for example, because I am the pear shape, so I already know that my bottom half is thick, it's done, it's the widest part, cool. I do go in at the waist, and then what I will do is I will look at um, tops and clothing that give me uh, this horizontal line here. Um, and this will visually widen this top part of my body. That then visually looks like I have a really nice hourglass. So types of tops and clothing that work really well for me um, are things uh, that are off the shoulder or things that really uh, have stripes, horizontal stripes this way, especially across the top. Things that have uh, padding in the shoulders. So you guys notice I've got a little bit of padding here because that broadens out my top half um, and the upper part of my body then going in at the waist naturally and then going back out of the hips at the bottom half of my body naturally so you can work with your proportions very very easily and it will help you feel so so incredibly confident and beautiful and attractive just by the clothing choices that you um, pick so once you've identified your body shape from everything that I've just shared, you can look in your wardrobe and just think, well, this is why actually I don't feel as good in that. Or well, this is why, oh my God, this makes me feel absolutely amazing because I am, the clothes that I'm wearing really suit my shape and they really accentuate the parts of myself that I want to accentuate and draw attention to those areas and they make me look in proportion, they make me look like I've got a really great figure, they make me feel powerful and attractive and beautiful. You will know those clothes, um, but this will give you a bit more of a technical knowledge in how to identify the clothing that is really gonna work for you, okay? Um, I'm just gonna finish up actually with one more example because I know people that have more of a straight body, they want to get those curves in and it can be really frustrating with them, especially if they're, blueprint of beauty or their story of beauty is this hourglass or is to be more curvy and they find themselves with a straight body and they can feel like they their body image is oh i'm not girly i'm not feminine i'm not attractive um so if you find that you have this uh, more straight rectangle shape 
then what you can do is you can pay attention to the lines of your body and you can really work with it because you've already got you know a really nice uh, waist area you don't you can draw attention to the waist by uh, putting a, a small line here um, and then what you want to do is you can accentuate the top so the shoulder area or even the top area across your bust and then you can accentuate the hips so you want to wear things that go out there and go out at the top and then boom, you've got it. <laughs> you've visually got that shape, okay? You've visually got the uh, the curves just from the clothing choices that you have decided to, to choose. So I hope that was super helpful for you guys. As I said, this could be an all day thing. And actually I do this with clients in workshops. I really take people deep into this so that they can identify all of the pieces of clothing that they already have in their wardrobe that flatter them so much. They go in line with the goals that they're trying to achieve for their body and the confidence and the, the feeling that they want to have from wearing their clothes. And then I just scrap the rest of the stuff, right? That, that just makes them feel not attractive. But Usually they don't know why it doesn't make them feel attractive or why it's not working or why they feel so great in some things and not in others. Um, and there's <clears throat> so many different things that go into this in terms of the type of clothing, the material, the textures of the clothing. Like, as I said, this could be extended into like a massive thing. Um, but if you are someone who is really wanting to revamp your wardrobe, reinvigorate it, um, come into uh, having clothes that just make you feel confident on every occasion that reflect the, you know, very best representation of who you are so that you always show up confident. If you're a visible woman, for example, I work with a lot of professional and entrepreneurial women who are highly visible. They have lots of speaking engagements. They're always seen. They're always online. They have YouTube channels. They are people, they are women who are seen. And because they are seen, they want to have their confidence in what they're wearing. So it's not just about understanding your personal style and understanding what is really right for you. It's that in combination with how these these clothes are making you feel and dressing in a way that just it fits with your model of beauty because it's not about what society is telling you you should wear you're this shape so you should wear that and you should wear this it's about helping you dress for the body that you have and love the body that you have and love the image that you have so that you always feel confident 24 7 365 days a year you have a wardrobe that reflects um, your personality and your confidence and your best qualities in your work environment your leisure environment casually smart casually uh, formal any type of occasion that you have in your life, I believe your wardrobe should match that. And I believe that when you understand your body and how it moves and your body shape and your own personal style, you can wear it with so much confidence and you feel amazing about yourself. And then because you feel amazing, you perform in your highest potential. So I hope that was helpful guys. If you've liked this, please give it a like, share this with anyone else who will want to learn about their body type so that they can make better choices with their clothing and they can just feel so, so, so supremely confident with what they have. Don't forget to subscribe if you love everything that you see and you love all these tips and tricks and everything that I deliver to you and I will speak to you soon. See you later, bye.